Hello again. With this warm weather, I thought I'll read you one of the stories that my children used to love listening to. And it's by the same lady who wrote all those stories about Elfie. And it's called Lucy and Tom at the Seaside. Now, I know we can't go to the seaside at the moment, but maybe some of you can remember when you used to go to the seaside and what it looks like. And maybe you can turn some of the back of your garden into a bit of a seaside and pretend you are there. Here we go. Lucy and Tom at the seaside. One hot day, Lucy and Tom and their mummy and daddy thought it would be good to go to the seaside. Lucy was helping to pack up a picnic. There are sandwiches and hard-boiled eggs, apples, biscuits, a bottle of orange squash and a lovely chocolate cake. Tom went off to find buckets and spades in the sand pit. There he is, finding buckets and spades. Can you see? They go on the train to the seaside. Tom kept asking, are we there? When are we going to be there? But Lucy got already ready and wore her armbands in the train, so when they got there she was ready to swim. At last they arrived. They walked down a rather long road, carrying all their picnic things and bathing bags and buckets and spades. Mmm, there's a very special seasidey smell. A bit salty that smell is, but it's lovely. Can you see? In the very distance is the sea. And there was the sea. It's much bigger and much better than Lucy and Tom had remembered. They ran straight to where the waves were coming up on the wet sand and walk along the edge. There's the mummy and daddy walking with them. Can you see? There are lots of children on the beach, as well as mothers and fathers and babies and grannies and people paddling and dogs who were dashing in and out the water, barking excitedly at the seagulls. Ruff, 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 ruff. And the dogs, can you see them? My dog would do that. At the moment she's lying in the sun in the garden. Lucy and Tom wanted to swim right away. So they put on their bathing suits and went into the sea, hand in hand. Lucy and Dad did some swimming, but the sea is much rougher and splashier than the swimming pool at home. It's harder to swim in, but much more fun. Tom likes being chased by the waves. There he is, being chased by the waves. Can you see? That sound looks like so much fun. And I'm sure... Somewhere this year we will be able to do this again. After the swim, Mummy helps everyone to rub dry and they play a running about game to get warm. They settle down to their picnics. Several wasps try to join in. Oh, that's the problem. When you go in August to the seaside, you always have wasps. Can you see the wasps buzzing about? There they are. And there's that lovely chocolate cake with wasps on it too. Then the tide, which means the sea, was coming in. Daddy helps Lucy and Tom to make a beautiful sand castle. It has turrets covered in shells and stones and a moat and a tunnel going right through the middle and coming out the other side. Slowly the moat fills up with water and then the tunnel. And soon only the top turret is left. And after that, nothing at all. That's what happens when the sea comes in. It washes everything away. Can you see? A lot of interesting things are happening on the beach. There are people flying kites and playing cricket. There's ball games and a little girl who's burying her father's legs in the sand. So only his toes are sticking out. Some people are trying to get in and out their bathing suits under a towel which is very difficult and funny. Look, there they are. They're trying not to be naked, so they're trying to have a towel around them to get changed. Well, that's quite hard work when there's a lot of people watching. Lucy and Tom are off to play in a rock pool. 
Lucy finds lots of different kinds of seaweed and some shells which she puts into her bucket. Tom finds some stones and a crab claw which he uses to chase his sister around. Yay! Ah, said Lucy. Now Lucy makes a face in the sand. It has stones for eyes, a row of little shells for teeth and lots of seaweedy hair. Mummy helps Tom to make a speedboat from sand, paint pointing out right into the sea. There is the speedboat. That looks like a great boat, doesn't it? Further up the beach, there were donkeys. Lucy and Tom asked, please, please, can we have a ride? Lucy's donkey is grey with white legs and his name is Pepsi, written on his harness. And Tom's donkey is brown, called Cola. There they are, riding a donkey on the beach. There there's all the other donkeys when they come off. Now it's nearly time to go home. Mummy is packing up the picnic things and there is just time for an ice cream. Lucy writes her name in very big letters in the wet sand. And then she writes Tom's name too. It's been a lovely day at the seaside. There is Lucy making a L, a L from Leila or Leo. Can you see? And there is the seaside when they went home. Lucy and Tom, it's written down. And there's the speedboat and the castle. And there are Mummy and Daddy and Lucy and Tom walking home back to the train. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll be able to have some fun outside. I'll hope to see you soon. Bye bye.